way over here. I'm here. <laughs> oh, hello. Yes, I'm here. I'm operating this monster of machine. Can you see that? Doesn't it remind you of a dinosaur? Look at that. Look at this. It's amazing, isn't it? Now, where am I? Well, I told you, Australia is big. Everything is big. Now, we had the big trains, the big trucks, the big farming. Remember the big tub? Now look at these big excavators. And where we are, we're in a place where they take all sorts of rubbish, like rubble and stuff, and they make out of that some useful products. But let's have a look at a little history about our rubbish, starting from the ancient times. Anna Sevo has a report. Ever since ancient times, waste has been a big problem. While digging for the subway in Athens some two decades ago, excavators dug below the earth and tipped the bottom of ancient wells. Subsequently, two and a half thousand year old household and construction waste came tumbling out. The ancients were using their old dried up wells as their tips. In modern times, countries around the world, to their shame, have soured beautiful landscapes with dumped demolition rubbish that councils were at a loss for what to do with. Fortunately, Aussie Ingenuity has been at the forefront of the solution revolution, and Harry is at Metropolitan Demolitions and Recycling to tell us more. But let me put this down and I'll show you the rest of the plan in here. Now here in Australia, one thing that we have to remember is that they're very strict and I think that they're pretty right about safety. And of course, one thing is safety hats like this one here. Now, remember, even if you get out of this machine, you have to wear this. So I have to wear this to get out and also have to wear it to go up to the place at the top of the plant. So I'll see you up there. We are at the recycling plant of Metropolitan Demolition and Recycling. And where I am now, it's where all the rubble, all the concrete, all the brick, all the tiles come to be crushed. Imagine big pieces of concrete like this, like this, even bigger. They go into this machine in here and they all just get crushed. Now this one here, it's called the Joe Crusher. The Joe Crusher, it works like our Joe's. Now look at the video and see why they call it the Joe Crusher. It does work like a Joe. Now, this is Australia. This is Australia for me. I love this place. I could be sitting here day after day just watch these machines. The excavator loading up the crusher with this huge piece of concrete. The crusher that matches everything up. And then the screens. These are actually the screens that separate the material into many different products. From aggregates to road base to many, many different materials. And this is what I love. This is the beauty about it. And I wish that in some other countries around the world, instead of just dumping their rubbish just anywhere, like I've seen it in Italy, I've seen it in Greece, I've seen it in Cyprus, I've seen it all around Europe, everywhere I've gone, I've seen rubbish everywhere. These beautiful landscapes, all littered with rubbish. But here in Australia, we have a very good system. And here at Metropolitan Demolition, we can see that work. This amazing equipment here that keeps Australia beautiful and clean. But from one solution of the recycling of the concrete and the bricks and the rubble, we go to the next solution, which is reuse. Let's have a look at the story with Anna Sevo. And Metropolitan Demolitions and Recycling are also at the forefront of reusing. Here before me are timbers that would normally be thrown into landfill, 
left to rot amongst putrid waste that are now being given new life to be turned into tables and beautiful artisan works. Many of these timbers will actually go back into restoring existing buildings and could even be used to restore the curlew. Other reusables here at Metropolitan include roofing materials, windows, doors and these sandstock bricks that were made by hand by convicts some 150 years ago. So for your next renovation or rebuild, come down to Metropolitan Demolitions and Recycling, upcycle and save yourself a bundle. Right through the plant here at Metropolitan Demolitions and Recycling, we see sprinklers everywhere. And of course, we're in the middle of the city at St. Peter's of Sydney. Remember 576 Princess Highway? This is where they got all the timbers and all the other reused, reusable materials. And here on 396, just behind Hungry Jacks, you can come and buy all your products for your roadworks or whatever else you need. And you can come and tip your rubble as well. One of the most fascinating things for me it's this plant in here in front of me. And uh, this is because, again, the metropolitan innovation came to fruition here as well with this incredible machine. Now, you could buy one of these things pretty much ready, but no, Paul, one of the four brothers, he had a different idea. One of his excavators, he was too old, he couldn't use it anymore, but he actually recycled the machine in order to build this if you have a look at the back, there's still the sign, Caterpillar, from the excavator. It doesn't look like an excavator anymore. It's called a stacka. It's a machine that stacks the material up into a big, huge hip. Now, if you have a look down the bottom there, you can actually see the basis where the trucks, the Caterpillar trucks were. And he used a turntable in order for the stacka to move from the left to the right. Again, this is all about reuse and recycling and I think these guys coming to Australia from a very poor island of Kalimnos I think that they are bringing of just you use and recycle as much as they can it's still with them even today that maybe they don't need to reuse and recycle anymore but they still do it and I know that go out of the way in order to still reuse and recycle so anything you need don't forget to come and visit Metropolitan Demolitions for all your needs for recycled materials plus road base and other things. We are now at the end of the plant at Metropolitan Demolitions and Recycling and uh, down here on my left we can see a pack mill. Basically that is something that is quite unique in the industry and it stabilizes this road base with concrete. Something unique to be able to do that with recycled concrete and Metropolitan managed to get that done as well which is really good. Down here you can see the different bays with all the different products that are made out of this rubbish, out of this recycled concrete, out of these bricks and tiles and all the rubbish that we saw at the beginning. Now look at that. You can, in there you can find all the aggregates that you need in the industry from the very small size to the biggest size plus all the types of road, road base from DGB20 to DGB40 etc etc. Uh, it's getting a bit technical, I know, but the thing is, it is amazing that out of the rubbish, out of the real rubbish that we used to throw to the landfill many years ago, and we used to mine our beautiful landscapes in Australia to get this material out of the mountains, now we have plants like this all around Australia, and we are making these great products out of rubbish. Now this is Australia. This is why I love Australia. And remember, if you want to find out more information about these products that they for sale, like the logs and the timbers that we saw in last week's episode about the timbers made out of telegraph poles, you can visit our website, metroreusables.com.au. And if you have any good stories about reuse and recycling, or if you have found some amazing solutions to problems, don't forget to email us or ring us on the number and email you see now on your screens. Why are we here at the Annadale pub? because this pub is made mostly with second-hand building materials. And look at that, we made those tables. 
we made those tables at this pub and also we made some tables for the other pub at Warwick Farm. Have a look at these ones. Yeah, basically they're all second-hand timbers that we picked up either from Huaragamba, recycled timbers, or from Metropolitan Demolitions. And just, we just wanted to show people what we can do with these wonderful timbers that we find everywhere, either second-hand or reused, like from Kennedy's timbers and recycled timbers. Now, if you look around here, of course, these guys from uh, Oscar's Hotels, Mario and his brothers, and that look at this, they just made a great job here. Look at the amazing uh, windows that they've used over here, and all the tables and chairs and all the decor, even these cupboards here that we provided for them. Look at that, beautiful stuff. And it's all here at Annadale Pub in Sydney. <laughs>